It is time to put away those holiday decorations and return to spinning, knitting, weaving, and hooking, and <laughs> celebrating the joy of being together. Barb Gilder of the Northern Prairie Fiber Artist Guild joins us this morning. Welcome, Barb, to the show. Oh, you're Thank you. So this Saturday, the Historical and Cultural Society of Clay County is celebrating St. Distaff Day. Can you tell us about that? Yes, this is an old English tradition. After the 12 days of Christmas, which required a lot of prayer and fasting and feasting, the home chores were put away for 12 days and uh, on today, actually, is the day uh, after Epiphany, and it is the real distaff day today, but tomorrow we're going to celebrate it because it's Saturday, and it's a time of play. The women, traditionally back then, were the spinners and the makers of the clothing, so they got back to their spinning, but the guys, got off till Plow Monday. Oh. Well, that just opens up the door to lots of play and misadventure. <laughs> so the guys would torment the women by burning the flax, which they put on, this is a distaff right here. It's, oh. a, it's, a, it's a rod with a holder of some kind for all the wool. Okay. And, um, it was a playful game. It doesn't sound too playful when you think about burning their wool and um, burning their toe, as they said. And this is wool that has been made into a roving, but they called it toe, T-O-W, back then. Okay. And um, so the women, not to be outsmarted, had buckets of water handy, which they could throw on the men. So <laughs> not a whole lot got done on St. Distaff's Day. Okay. Now there is a no St. Distaff. It's just a name of a day. Well, the 12 days of Christmas were celebrated with feasts and prayer for many of the saints in, in the Orthodox and Catholic churches. And so, I think the people just decided, well, let's have a St. Distaff when we get back to our regular chores. Now, can you so, show us how this works? Absolutely. Okay. This is um, sheep wool. That This is locks that have been taken off um, a sheep and washed. And they're kind of like this. And then it is carded with these hand cards and made into, um, it can be made into a bat or it can be made into rollogs. Now the Scottish people call these rollogs. Th that's not like rollog Minnesota. It's like uh, the name for rolls, Okay. The little rolls. So they put their wool on their hand cards like this. And then they'd brush it just like you brush your hair to get all the fibers straight and nice. There you go. And then they would roll it up into a little roll. This is called a roll log and people used it to make their sweaters and their garments. And the reason they liked Rologs was because it incorporated a lot of air into the wool. And when you're wearing a sweater, you like a little air in there, especially in the cold climates because it keeps you nice and warm. Yes. So that's the history of St. Distaff's Day, and we will be at the Hempcomp Center. At the Hempcomp Center tomorrow from 10 until 3, I believe, is your event. That's right. And the public is welcome. 
Uh, I know we're having an uh, issue with COVID right now, but there's a lot of space there, and we all have masks, and that's required to, to attend. So I hope uh, the public can come join us or bring their children. We'll have some displays for uh, people to look at to see how uh, garments can be made out of sheep wool. This is wonderful. Or any other animal for, for that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for yes. joining us. And the event is tomorrow, 10 to 3, at the Yumcombe mm -hmm. Center in Moorhead. Thank you so much, Barb. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. There's much more coming up on North Dakota Today. People embracing dry January, kicking off the new year by cutting out alcohol for an entire month. We'll talk about that trend next.